Probiotics are very easy to create for very little cost using water kefir grains. A while back I had never even heard of kefir. What is kefir, I hear some of you ask? It's a symbiotic mix of yeast and bacteria that acts like other probiotics to help with digestive problems. We need bacteria to help break down our food so we can absorb the nutrients more efficiently. If you've ever messed up your gut bacteria by taking antibiotics and suffered the wrath of diarrhea that often accompanies that, you'll understand how essential the right bacteria are for our happy digestive existence. Probiotics are good bacteria that we want in our intestinal tract. The first kefir I was introduced to was made out of milk. Very sour tasting, not greatly palatable, at least to me. But I read enough that I wanted to learn how to make kefir myself, so I found a woman who said she would be glad to teach me how and give me a starter. I was surprised when I got to her house that it wasn't milk kefir. She had water kefir grains and gave me a freeze-dried starter. They're called water kefir grains because the colonies of yeast and bacteria look like little grains. It has nothing to do with grains from plants. She showed me how to make kefir in a very simple style. The recipe included kefir grains, brown sugar, molasses, and that ever important ingredient, water. The yeast and bacterial colonies ferment the sugar and molasses to leave a probiotic, bacteria-rich liquid to drink. Yum! Not. Definitely not tasty, but definitely helped with digestion. I continued to feed my water kefir grains the way I had been shown because I wanted the probiotics effect. I had been instructed to use filtered water because chlorine caused a problem. Chlorine is a major oxidizer. It's an electron thief, which means it's a killer of microorganisms. So I used filtered water and things ran smoothly. You have to feed the culture every two days with sugar and molasses to keep it alive. So I got thinking about this culture being alive, living microorganisms of yeast and bacteria I wanted to grow. Then I got thinking about life support water. This is the total opposite of chlorinated water or even filtered water. It is an antioxidant, which means it has electrons to donate, and that supports life. It also has an alkaline pH, which is the opposite of tap, bottled, and filtered water. The mad scientist in me came out. I had to see what would happen if I fed life support water to small life forms I wanted to support. Holy guacamole is all I can say. My kefir grains flourished. No, that's too much of an understatement. They grew like weeds, and to my surprise, it improved the taste of the end product. The lesson to me is if you use optimized water that supports life, it will support the life of your water kefir grains as well as your own body's cells. This is an easy option to get probiotics to help your digestion. As an aside, many people who drink life support water report an improvement in digestion. Is it possible that it supports life of the normal gut bacteria already existing there? Get some life support water and drink it for several weeks and see what happens for you.